Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. My pleasure, Captain. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. I'm receiving an urgent docking request from another vessel. Greetings from the Halcyon Parcel Service. Delivery is guaranteed within standard margins of certainty. I've got a special delivery for Alex Hawthorne of The Unreliable. Uh, with your permission, I'll see it transferred to your ship. It's a parcel, ma'am. A parcel is a shipment wrapped and prepared for delivery, ma'am. Opening a customer's parcel is strictly against regulations. HPS's no peaking policy guarantees that your deliveries remain confidential and HPS remains free of any liability. With alacrity. Stand by, Captain Hawthorne. An HPS certified distribution technician has deposited the parcel into your cargo hold in accordance with hazardous waste disposal procedures. Scheduling a re-delivery will require Form 232B Addendum 57G and approximately 16 weeks of processing time. Unfortunately, we are currently experiencing a critical shortage of blank forms. Thank you for your patience, and please remember HPS for all of your future parcel-related needs. up in some shady business on Gorgon. Should have known better. But I landed on something big. And now this job's an itch I can't stop scratching. There's a whole research compound left to the Sprats. I think I'm close to figuring out why. But something dangerous is closer to me. Got the job through one mini Ambrose. Top runger who just came into some money was offering a hefty bid card for qualified help. Trust me, her money's good. Talk to Minnie. Take the job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. Consider us even, old pal. Well, that fellow certainly seemed trustworthy. I've gotten jobs from some unusual sources, but this is a first. Congratulations, Captain. I don't mean to sound prim, Captain, but there's got to be a better way to ask someone to do you a favor. I just want to say, we got to take this job. This is the closest I ever been to starring in a serial drama. Only thing we're missing is a couple cameras and a soundtrack. At least this won't be boring. Lucky Montoya displayed what humans describe as a flair for the dramatic. However, my analysis of his recording indicates unusually high levels of stress. Captain, the message contains landing coordinates for a small asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. It was recently registered to a Wilhelmina Ambrose.
He was an old friend of Alex Hawthorne's. Lucky Montoya had a statistically significant tendency to encounter situations of extreme danger. Well, yeah. I doubt this guy lost his arm filling out paperwork. He was also the fourth best paid freelancer in the system. There are several hundred freelancers operating in Halcyon. Considering the numbers, Mr. Montoya ranked among the top percentile. This had less correlation with his measured aptitudes, which rank at or below average, than with a pattern of fortunate circumstances. Luck does not exist, Captain. Nevertheless, I am programmed to agree with your assessment. I have transferred the coordinates for Ambrose Manor to your navigation terminal. We can travel there when you are ready. Hawthorne, if you're getting this, something's happened to me. Got mixed up in some shady business on Gorgon. Should have known better. But I landed on something big. And now this job's an itch I can't stop scratching. There's a whole research compound left to the Sprats. I think I'm close to figuring out why. I've shut off the visual feed from my ocular inputs in the captain's quarters. So you're Got free the to disrobe the job through one mini Ambrose. Top runger who just came into some money was offering a hefty bid card for qualified help. Trust me, her money's good. Talk to Minnie. Take the job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. Consider us even, old pal. Welcome to Ambrose Manor. We were not expecting company. Please follow. Do not stray from the path. Don't worry, little fella. We're mostly law-abiding folk. You gotta admit, that was kind of funny. Felix, what if it's hurt? This unit is under construction. Thank you for your patience. on it big empty window like that that's gotta be haunted oh well, i'm getting goosebumps this place looks kind of sad like it's been waiting for someone to make a home out of it it's so empty oh captain something here don't feel right Join me for a drink, Miss Whoever you are. So who the devil are you? 
You don't say. Well, make yourself at home, Captain. I'm sure we have much to discuss. Do you see that glowing chunk of space rock? That's Gorgon. My birthright, my burden, and the bane of my existence. I hate to drink alone, and this is my third. So join me in raising a glass to Gorgon. To Gorgon. May cosmic winds shepherd her to the nearest star. I'm Wilhelmina Ambrose, but you can keep it short and call me Minnie. Nice to meet you too. Wow. Now what brings you to my house, gorgeous? I take it you didn't come all this way for the beverages, the starry skies, or the pleasant company. A severed arm. How positively ghoulish. You know this is a private residence, not a curio shop. Lucky Montoya is my personal freelancer. Fascinating man. Very brooding and theatrical. Always staring into space and twirling a bullet over his knuckles. I could do that. The staring into space part, I mean. I'm still working on the bullet twirling thing. But if something happened to him... Oh dear. I suppose that makes him my former freelancer now? You suspect foul play? Interesting. If we're being honest, I haven't given it much thought. What a time for his luck to run out. We were in the middle of something grand, and I really can't afford another setback. Funny that you should bring that up. How would you like to be my new freelancer? There's been a recent vacancy, and I think you're well suited to the job. I could get used to people offering us a job at first glance. Usually they just squint at us all suspicious like, or reach for a pistol. You offer work to everyone who breaks into your home? Must be some kind of Byzantine tradition I ain't know about. I'm looking for someone rough around the edges. A gorgeous, dashing scoundrel type. Incidentally, someone good with their hands. My mother, Dr. Olivia Ambrose, worked for Spacer's Choice at the Gorgon Research Facility. She was brilliant. The top scientist in her field. Until tragedy struck. I wish I could say otherwise. One day, Spacer's Choice shut down all research and evacuated Gorgon. Everyone had to scramble or risk getting left behind. It was chaos. Employees fled for their lives. Mother... never made it home. I'm told she wasn't the only casualty that fateful day. It must have been real hard on you, losing your mother all of a sudden like that. I'm sorry to hear it, ma'am. Thank you. Ambrose ladies are supposed to be resilient to the unexpected, but this was especially hard on me. Mother's name has since been dragged through the mud. Spacer's Choice blames her for the collapse of Project Gorgon, and I just know they're lying. My thoughts exactly. Mother would not have allowed Project Gorgon to fail. Something happened on that asteroid, and my family took the fall for it. The truth. Mother is gone, Gorgon is silent, and I deserve answers. That will depend on what we learn. The scope of this cover-up is enormous. Whatever Spacer's Choice is hiding could bring ruin down on their heads. Or it could just be another dead end. We won't know till we look, will we?
We start where all of this began. With Mother. Whatever happened on Gorgon wasn't Mother's fault. I simply need the evidence to prove it. We're going to drag the truth, kicking and screaming into the light. Even if it means bringing ruin and humiliation to Spacer's choice. All the evidence I need should be in Mother's journal. You can find it in her office on Gorgon, in the heart of the old research facility. I believe you're the first person to ever side with me against the Corporation. It's a refreshing change. When you reach Gorgon, pack a weapon you trust. The corporate lockdown hasn't stopped the wilderness from squirming in through the cracks. There's a little saloon near Gorgon's landing pad, the Sprat Shack. Lucky was renting a room, so if you want to follow his trail, that would be the place to start. The Sprat Shack? Hope they don't serve real Sprats. There's a Sprat worse place than the Groundbreaker. Tried it once, and I was sick for a week. Oh, you think maybe they got a little mascot? Like a Sprat in a tiny hat? Just so we understand each other, money is no object. I'm between your payment. A consummate professional? That shouldn't be a problem. Here's your nav key, Captain. Safe travels. Spacer's choice should be the one apologizing, but... Thank you. Sincerely. A word of advice before you go, Captain. Trust no one. Mysterious errors, unexpected gainful employment. It's like something out of a detective serial. Hey boss, what's our policy on getting to know our clients a little better? You think she'd appreciate some company? All right, I can do Miss Ambrose? Must get awful lonesome up here all by herself. What do you do for fun? Cause uh, if you're interested, I've got the full set of Terror on Monarch. The last thing I need in my life is more corporate propaganda masquerading as entertainment. He is? Oh dear. It's been a while and I'm out of practice. <clears throat> you seem very nice. And very pretty. And I'm sure there's a wealthy heiress out there who would be extremely lucky to run away with you. Alas, it isn't me. Are we in agreement? Hey! No problem. I figured it was worth a shot, at least. That took a lot of guts, Felix. Hey, thanks. I probably should have written down what I was gonna say on my hand. That usually works.
Hmm? <laughs> 